Hey guys, this is Booligan with Booligan Airsoft and Airsoft Insider Magazine. Today, taking an exclusive first look at the brand new limited edition and very limited production King Arms Black Rain Ordnance BRO 15 Carbine. Now there are several different models available, short, medium, and long. This is pretty much the long one. Got a nice long front end here with a uh, long outer barrel. Um, and modeled after the real BRO-15 rifles by Black Rain Ordnance, as the name suggests. Now, a couple of really cool features about this gun. Look at that receiver. It has a billet-style receiver complete with anti-rotation links, which are just cosmetic, but are a nice cosmetic touch. You've got a custom trigger, integrated trigger guard, gorgeous, gorgeous trademarks, um, the upper receiver is also custom, nice features such as let it rain and the marked um, mock bolt carrier. Your charging handle is extended, you have a locking bolt catch, and the handguard is modeled pretty much exactly off of the real one. You've got removable rail segments at the front, I believe these are M-Lock underneath and I believe they are to spec, so M-Lock accessories should fit just fine and um, flip up Troy style iron sights, front and rear. For furniture, you have a battery storage style stock, which um, is actually kind of tricky to put like a nunchuck battery in. Um, you can, you unscrew this, you flip it down, you kind of have access to route the wires, but realistically, if you're getting this gun, plan on getting a buffer tube LiPo battery. It does have a nice little side compartment here, which you can use to store batteries, or in my case, emergency on-field starbursts. Sometimes you need to uh, get some starbursts in your life. And the grip is, the grip and mag are um, King Arms' new TWS, I believe, TWS system. And I really, really like the pistol grip on this gun because of this little feature right here. I can do this, there you go. Pull that, slide off, and you can swap it out for one of several different back straps, which is really helpful if you're like me and you've got giant gorilla hands. This is much easier than I'm making this look. It's harder to do on camera. If you've got big gorilla hands like me, you need that big full size back strap. So you can get it with a couple of different interchangeable back straps. You can also change out the front strap for a smooth model or one that has a finger step in it. So, all of these externals are obviously gorgeous. The rifle is designed for modern shooting techniques in mind. You'll see on this top, you have no rails up here because it's designed for a nice grip, but for you still to be able to mount an iron sight up front because realistically, you most guys don't need rails up here. You need rails for optic, maybe a secondary device, but the thing is designed to get your inner Chris cost on. So inside this thing, what do you think they have put? Is this cheap out on the internals? No. You've got a die cast gearbox version two with a quick change spring system. You have wire cut gears and a POM piston and an integrated inline MOSFET that's actually really, really trick. Kind of a cool feature here how they did it. And I'll show you a picture. It's actually located right about here, just the little guy. So that way it doesn't take up any of your buffer tube battery space if you want to use a battery there. Um, and it's just a simple MOSFET. You don't get any crazy features. It's not computerized, but it is going to help preserve your trigger contacts. Performance, well, we're going to have to go out and uh, throw some rounds through to see what the performance is like. But one of the things about this gun that might have a little bit of shock for some of you guys is the price. It's not the most expensive rifle in the world. Um, not even really close to that, but it is a premium rifle designed for upper tier players and collectors. The shortest model comes in around $380. This, the longer model, comes in around $410, $420. There's a three gun version that looks like uh, something that you would use for competitive shooting. In this long version, that's a couple of different colors like red, chrome, gold, it's crazy looking. That one's a little bit more expensive as well. I believe that one's around $430. Now, these are limited production. They're making 1,500 of these. Of those 1,500, I believe 
only two or three hundred are making it to the United States. So this is going to be an exceedingly rare rifle on the airsoft field and one with some really great features externally, some great internals, and well, we'll have to see how that performance is once we get outside. Um, but many thanks to King Arms for sending this over for us to test out. I'm really, really liking it. It is front heavy. This big front handguard does make it a bit front heavy, especially when combined with a lightweight stock. But the thing points really, really well. I really like this rail design that's round and comfortable and nothing to snag on and just you still have the ability to have that front sight up there. So again, many thanks to King Arms for sending this over and there will be uh, more information available in the information section of this video. We're gonna try to find a link to where these things are gonna be for sale, but as of right now, I don't think they've even hit shelves yet. Uh, very, very, very early preview of this. So many thanks to them again. Many thanks to you guys for watching and uh, let's go throw some rounds through this thing. All right, out here on the uh, 100 foot range and uh, with a Maraca of Doom filled with BBs, so let's see how this thing shoots. All right, I'm as far back as I can go against this wall. Give me the full 100 feet and let's uh, zoom on in on that target. Gun's doing its job. I'm just a sloppy shooter today. Let's do some full auto. This thing clearly has no problem putting uh, putting rounds accurately on target out to that range. <laughs> 